good mythical morning oh welcome back to today's episode well this week's episode of coffee time with cobra um yeah mm. let's just get right into it uh it's christmas so merry christmas uh or whatever you celebrate merry happy whatever uh other than that i've been streaming pretty much daily or i've got a uh, video planned daily uh so yeah look forward to seeing some more content from me guys uh, i just woke up so i'm a little bit you know, hazy my biscuit of choice today is oldie digestive uh, so yeah hopefully this will kick in Mm. And um, yeah, been playing enlisted. I've got about a hundred things wrong with the game. Um, one of which is there is vehicles in the tech tree that once you've unlocked them through research you can't use them in the appropriate tier that they're for case in point the bf 109 u7 uh, it says it's battle rating one but it only goes to battle rating three or higher pilots either it's a gross misunderstanding uh, either it's it's in the wrong place in the, the research tech tree or someone at Gaijin fucked up Royal. And I mean that. And I've got tier 1 pilots, no tier 2 pilots, and two tier 3 pilots. Please make it make sense. Because um, it doesn't make any sense to me. So either the plane is the wrong, wrong uh, battle rating. Or it's in the wrong place in the tech tree. Um, same as certain weapons like there's a shotgun that you have to research at tier 1 to unlock the Bre uh, uh, um, Beretta M38 submachine gun that on paper is vastly superior even to the premium SMGs from, that you get from your um, uh, premium squad games because if you're an original player like me I played an original alpha and through the beta and whatnot, you were given incentives to keep playing, which was uh, a premium squad with SNGs um, and a premium Panzer IV tank squad. Well, I kept playing. I kept those squads, but they're all, they're both automatically battle rating four. Again, uh, sorry, battle rating three. Okay, and this update has stripped all your soldiers of their gear and only only some of their perks not all of them just some again make that make sense if you're going to remove perks or strip your sol the soldiers of perks or gear maybe you should put that in more than just a little tiny little sentence in a patch note maybe you should have that pop up on the screen and say hey look you know you may notice that gear is missing from your soldiers or perks are missing, please check them. We're not fucking mind readers, Gaijin. Same as the fact that my tier 1 Panzer 3 has 5 seats, 
yet only four crew, and I cannot add a fifth soldier to the squad. Huh? So, my machine gunner, which doesn't do anything, by the way, this is the thing. Crew on a tank don't do anything. Namely, if you're in the commander's slot and you're using your binocs or, or using the vision viewport to spot something, if the gunner sees a target, he's not going to shoot. If the machine gunner sees a target, he's not going to shoot. <clears throat> you have to manually shoot them, which makes no sense. Because as when I was in a tank, when I was a tank driver... If I spotted something, the first thing I said was TC, TC, TC. You know, and I, to get his attention, you know, he'd give me the go-ahead. TC means tank commander. All right, TC, TC, TC. Possible target, you know, possible tango. Grid reference, da 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 You know, give him a good reference. He'd walk up, you know, he'd get on his better optics than me. Confirm or I deny if I spotted something. If I had supported something, it'd be like, gunner, target, you know? Gunner's like, coordinates. Give him the coordinates. You see that, but you hear, you, you hear that turret. Because it's all fucking hydraulic operated. Electronic hydric, hydra, electronic hydri, hybr, electronic hybrid hydraulic operated turret. You'd literally hear it just go, brruh, brruh. calculate, fire, Boom. Change your hit. Follow up shot. But you don't get that. In, you don't get that in um, in enlisted. You also 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 be able to um, toggle your AI, that's your your unit, to be defensive or aggressive. Uh, defensive means that they would only shoot if they're shot at, or at least looking roughly give you a direction of where they're being shot at. Um, there was no bullshit kill cam. Now there's a kill cam because I don't know, whiny little bitches complaining. <laughs> How about you fucking learn the map? How about you fucking learn where? Put yourself in your enemy's shoes. If the sniper, if if I was on the enemy team and I've got a horde of enemies coming at me, and I'm trying to slow you down, or I'm trying to spot AA guns or uh, 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 recon vehicles or you know p possible spawning points, I'm gonna ping you on the map. That's something. You're not rewarding teammates for doing their job. Case in point, I've rescued so many Panzer teams. So many tankers as my recon by sniping anti-tank guys who are probably former Haitian G players because they play like them. Bruh. My phone agrees. And I'm not even joking. I... What map was it? I was on one of these... It, it, it's a weird like African map. I can't remember which one it was. And our Panzer IV, I kept telling him, pull back, pull back, pull back, you're going to get swat. And I'm typing, this is another thing. You can't type, you know, after you after your unit's wiped out, you can't press enter during the, the call down and tell your team, hey, da 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 over there. You can't do that. There's no way of communicating with your squad. There's no, no, no voice comms or anything like that. There's only tap enter, type message, press enter again. Well, you can't do that. While you're in your squad selection. So you can only warn your teammates. After you spawned in. Which can be can be anywhere between 10 to 7 to 4 seconds. Well a lot of fucking damage can be done in those seconds. That is a major no no gaijin. I'm sorry. Just, just, just pay a couple of pennies to team speak. And integrate team speak. It's not hard. Or have a Discord plugin. It 
Discord's free. TeamSpeak's free to use. Yeah, granted, you're paying, I don't know, fucking pennies for a server rental. And one of, one, one of my biggest pet peeves and one of my biggest gripes when it comes to every single tank game out there, not just War Thunder, not just Armored Warfare, not just 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 Steel Legions or, or World of Tanks or whatever. This is this applies to all of you. You all do this. One bullshit exp sync you put things in tech trees just to purposely slow down players to from getting to the tank that they want to play at yeah granted sometimes the tanks tier 10 i.e Yag, <gasps> yagi panzer e100 i.e e fucking send you no could be uh, a Yagi Panzer E100, could be the F005, could be um, I, I, whatever tank it is. Sometimes, honestly, the first tank I, I, the first tank I ground my heart out to get once I got it, was that a little underwhelming, a little bit under, under, underperforming? No, my ex expectations for the tank was too high. And that was the tier 6 Sherman. That's it. The Easy 8 Sherman. I didn't care about the Tiger. I didn't care about whatever. You know? The only annoying tank that ever, I, I, I constantly kept seeing at that time was a fucking IS-3. Because for some stupid fucking reason, Tier 6 sees Tier 8 more than it does its own tier. Make that make sense. Back then it did anyway. Oh, there's another thing. Matchmakers. Matchmaker fucking pisses me off. Plus one, neg one. That's it. Or skill-based matchmaker. Problem fucking solved. Problem fucking solved. Problem fucking solved. Um, and it, it's this. You want players to play a team-based game as if there is a team. But you do not reward or incentivize teamwork. You don't. Case in point. I can be in a tank destroyer. Okay. And I can choose to get a single hit of damage. Which is yay for me. Or I can choose to potentially. Because I don't know what. what, what and this applies to something like World of Tanks. Okay. I could potentially shoot the enemy tank in the tracks and A, not track them, only damage the tracks, which means they're going to go, oh, fuck, oh, fuck, 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 you know, and then Scarpa, or, finger in the air, or, I knock out his tracks and my teammates see a disabled crippled tank and they shoot at it and kill it and I get a partial a partial, I get like maybe 1-5% to 5 EXP and credits for disabling and therefore with, with my action taking out an enemy vehicle. Or do I just shoot it once, watch it go, oh shit, get off the hill and then that's it. And I get the whole 100% of EXP and credits for that shot. What seems more incentivizing? Oh, wait. See? Kind of just pointed out a big glaring fucking hole in your problem. Here's another one. You keep trying to apply modern tank tactics to tanks in a game system that does not have those abilities. Case in point... War Thunder corrected this with drones and, 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 and various other things. Okay, games like Call of Duty corrected this with things like UAVs. Because, I hate to tell you this, Special Forces do rely on the eye in the sky. 
they rely on actual real-time intel. Troop movements, vehicle movements, you name it. They need that in order to be all they can be. They need that intel. Well, so do tankers. And what do we get? We get little mini ma mini marker pings in World of Tanks telling us, okay, heavy's going this way, tank destroyers, usually camp bush. Ah, uh, he's not even realised they have a W key. Yeah, just stuff like that. Okay, and that's great. It's great. Cool. How am I supposed to translate that to my team where I can't voice that communication? Yet you'll add voice chat to a two-man platoon. So obviously you know teamwork is imperative and the game itself is a team-oriented game. Yet you're not giving the teams the tools to succeed. You're only giving tools to players that platoon up or want to play. Do you, do you see what I'm saying? You're half arsing implementing something into the game. Why? Think about it, okay? You want to keep going on about being an esports team. <laughs> no. You can't even figure out. You can't even figure out maps. You release a tank without truly giving it testing. You think two weeks worth of testing at random test intervals of like maybe an hour with four or five people is enough to get a sample size of saying, oh, tank's not broken, tank's just fine. BZ-176, anyone? Waffen Traeger E-100 after how many nerfs? Eventually you remove the tank and replace it with the Gritty 15. If you wanted to say, here, open wide, I want to skull fuck you, just go ahead and do it. Okay? Plain and simple, just go ahead and do it. But get rid of the Gritty 15. The Gritty 15 is a tier 8 tank tops at best. This is why most people don't go down the Gritty 15 tech tree. They, they stop at the, the Panzer, uh, Alps Panzerfeer, which is the, the, tier, the tier 9. They stop at tier 8, tier 9. They don't even look at tier 10. They don't want to. Tier 10, the, 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 the Gritty 15 is a joke. It is an absolute fucking piss take of a tank. Okay, it is. It's a Panzer IV chassis, which means it gets no fucking armor. It's got no armor in the turret. And the gun is, on, on paper, is supposed to be the most accurate fucking gun in World of Tanks. But have you actually tried to fire the thing? The shell dispersion is... <laughs> I'm aiming this way. I'm looking this way. Why does shell go that way? Oh, we corrected that. Our shells don't no, long, no longer do that. Uh, yeah, they do. Yeah, they do. They still do that. They do that quite often. And that's the truth. And the truth sucks. It stinks. But it's the truth. Your, the Gritty 15 needs some love. There are so many... Like the, T50, the, the American T-34 heavy tank. When was the last time you looked at updating that? You'll, you, you'll still pimp it out. You'll still sell it. But when your hooker's tits touch the floor, when she takes her bra off, you need to do some overhaul. You need to do some maintenance for the poor bastard. You've buffed the, 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 the low, the nerva. You buff that. You've buffed. Oh God! Let's see. You've buffed. Yeah, you you've buffed every bloody tier eight premium tank, but the American T T thirty four. Why? Why have you not buffed that tank? And stop putting gimmick tanks in the game. And yeah, I I mean the tog. Is a gimmick tank. 1500 hit points is the only thing it's got. It's hit points is the only thing it's got. 
Well, that doesn't mean shit when it comes across tanks like KV-2s with derp guns. And if they're in a platoon or if it's just one or two of them and they, and they time their shots, that 1,500 hit points goes down quick. And now that tank's lost its gimmick. And that's what I'm saying to you. It is a gimmick tank. The Cobra is a gimmick tank. No matter what you do to that tank. Yeah, there are some players out there that know how to play play auto loaders. And I'm I'm not one of them. The reason why is the majority of auto loaders are French. <laughs> Fuck the French. I only have French tanks on my American account because you keep giving them to me. I'm not even kidding you. You keep giving me blueprints for the French tech tree. I don't care about the French tech tree. I want to permanently disable the French tech tree from my entire account. I want a mod that literally just says, this this country, this tech tree, no longer exists in your client. I'll still see those tanks like on the battlefield, but I'll go to my tech tree, and they're just not there. That would make my day. But that that uh, that doesn't exist. But my point is this. Stop trying to apply modern tank tactics and modern tank... Uh, 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 um, what's the one for here? Uh, expectations. There you go. Stop expecting modern tank uh, battles, uh, etc. out of, of, of World War II tanks or Cold War era tanks. Or tanks that never existed. Tiger Mouths never existed. Uh, a shit ton of the Soviet objects never existed. Um, you know, and, and things of that nature. And, and and stop giving modules hit points. That's just ridiculous. Okay? When I was driving my tank, my, dri my, my, my TC didn't say, Slow down! The tracks only have 12 hit points left. Come on. And no, I'm not saying become become War Thunder. I'm not saying that at all. What I'm saying to you is, 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 is if you're trying to turn a game that is 99.9999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999
Just a thought. Because that actually makes sense. Does it not? Also, get rid of the fucking kill cam. The amount of times... And, and this is coming from a, player, a person who's, who's had his entire squad wiped out by one guy. One guy rapidly firing a bolt action. Like in real life, he wouldn't have hit a single fucking thing. Okay? Would not have hit the broadside of a bus from the inside. Okay? I say it from both both side points of view, okay? If you are if you lack the ability to spot someone. Okay, and, and there are some players out there that pay out the arse for camos, okay, to match the environments that they're playing games in. Okay? Real currency that you charge because you can't buy any kind of cosmetics or logos or symbols or anything for in-game credits. You can only buy it for gold, Gaijin. Why why when all of a sudden it's like if he kills one person? Yeah, all of a sudden he's on the map, surrounded by a great big red zero, like he's right fucking so that another part, that the same player with a different soldier can just pop out and go, boop, 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 pop. and that player who spent countless money to make his soldier look good and be part of the the, 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 the universe that you're trying to create, the game universe you're trying to create, gets fucked over because some moron a gaijin is a little crybaby wannabe little fucking bitch and kept saying we need a two team we need a two team no you don't no you don't life doesn't give you a fucking kill cam okay when you get hit by a bus because you're a moron staring down at your phone crossing the fucking street okay god's not going to say here's your kill cam my child and literally just point at the fucking bus that's got a splat stain of you on it. No. Fuck off. Okay, fuck right off. And when you get there, fuck off from there. Go to the top of Shut the Fuck Up Mountain. And once you reach the very tibby tibbity top of Shut the Fuck Up Mountain, you fuck off from there too. I mean it. I mean it. I fucking mean it. Cry, baby, little bitches. Seriously, get... Or, or, or at least have, have us have the ability to toggle it off. On the servers. And that's another thing. Why is there no player-hosted servers? There is for things like Hell Let Loose. For Red Orchestra. For a whole bunch of other really good... Uh, 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 realistic... World War II shooters. Why doesn't why, why why doesn't Gaijin have a server selection? Oh, that's right. That's all you care about. The game's a blatant cash grab. It is. Oh, get premium, you burn through EXP quicker that way. No, no. If I play a game where I have to get a battle pass or any of that shit. Just to play your game. I am not playing your game. I will tell people not to play your game. I will go out of my way. I will hire a motherfucking sky banner that says do not play X game. It is a fucking money pit. Do you understand that, Gaijin? Do you? Do you fucking understand that? Look at my face. Look at my eyes. Do you fucking understand that? Stop bringing greedy little sukas. Stop. You penny pinching motherfuckers. All I want is the ability to have like a team speak in integration where I can talk to my teammates and say to them. Armour spotted here. Someone so spotted here. I do that all the time in Hell Let Loose. In fact, when I play Hell Let Loose, I ask them. I'm like, is there a team speak, guys? Or, 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 or is there a Discord? Or is there any kind of voice comms? 
you know. And someone say, here's a link. And they'll post me a link to their Discord. I'll hop in, hop into the room. I'm like, hello, my name's Deceptive Cobras. Same name here as it is in, 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 in Steam. Da, 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 da. And I'm like, okay, cool. Uh, go to room three. All right, go to room three. People in that, my squad are in room three. And we are talking. We are communicating. We are fucking dominating the battlefield. Because, again, as G.I. Joe says, knowledge is not... Yeah, knowledge is half the battle. G.I. Joe. Yeah. Okay. Get it through your thick heads. Yeah, my coffee's on. My coffee's literally done. This is the last gulp. I wasted coffee. Mm. Anyway, coffee's done. Video's done. See you in the next one.